Yeah, Grath. Uh, we are good to go. Hello. Prati, we, we are good to go. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we are good to go. Okay. So, am I okay to share my screen as well? Yes, uh, you can share and uh, uh, you can discuss I'll everything. Then we can share take the, the yeah, little presentation. Yeah, and then you can put up the question. Mm -hmm. And accordingly, we can just answer the uh, this FAQs after completing my uh, presentation. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, just just let me introduce you, and then then you can do it. Then I can share the screen. Okay. Uh, you can share the screen right now as well. It's not a problem. You are allowed to do it. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. We have Krati with us uh, from Tendal University. Uh, she is managing admissions for Asia and almost uh, for the entire world. And uh, uh, she is with, with us for uh, sharing all the details about Crandall University, about the admissions, eligibility, and uh, uh, all the questions that whatever we have uh, in our mind. Also about the intakes and turnaround times and all, all the small and big doubts, whatever are uh, there with us. So we already had a session with her, uh, I guess, last year. Uh, so we are doing it again so that uh, if there is uh, there are any new updates, then we can uh, get to know about those new updates as well. About the number of seats, because uh, Crandall has limited number of seats and the demand of master degree is uh, all time high. So uh, is there any increase in number of seats? Can we get more seats uh, in coming intakes? So we are going to discuss about those things as well. So uh, most welcome, Krati, and thank you so much for accepting my invitation uh, for this particular session, especially on Sunday. And uh, hope we are going to have a great session. And then uh, we are moving towards uh, the question. So over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me, having me here. And it's been a pleasure always uh, to connect with the people and uh, connect with the uh, agent recruiters like you because you are always active and sending the quality students to us throughout the years what uh, we have the alignment. So uh, you were talking about many things about the seats and intake and everything. So I think it's the best way to share the presentation, a quick short presentation. And then we can um, have a FAQ with the all viewers and listeners. And uh, accordingly, I think uh, I can uh, uh, provide them the right answers as for my best of the best capabilities. So right now we are open for uh, September and January, September 24 and January 2025. So let's come on the intakes uh, and the details, how you are seeing it two universities here on the uh, screen, Crandall and Providence. So I am taking care of both the admissions part for Crandall and Providence. And we have a very successful program called Masters of Management. And it went so viral and, uh, you know, uh, generated the skilled uh, workforce in the Canadian uh, job market. And that's how uh, we have the extended hand uh, from the Providence University, Manitoba uh, province, that they also wanted to host this program. And this is our third intake. We are going uh, doing it so fantastically uh, with the applications and the number of uh, visa approvals. And uh, uh, Crandall, uh, it's our own having uh, the campus in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick. So let's come to the uh, next slides here where you can have the little bit Crandall tour. This is the campus, guys. Me and my team providing the uh, international uh, agent services and the admissions, and we provide the offer letter in 24 hour. So that's our turnaround time for all the eligible students who are listening to me right away, get connected to the uh, uh, Jitain and team. And definitely uh, they're going to help uh, you out for submitting the application uh, and you will get the uh, offer letter in 24 hour. 
So very importantly to understand about the Canada, Moncton, Crandall, Ithos, admissions protocol, and then we can have a FAQ round. So you know about it that uh, Canada has a global reputation for quality and predominantly it is uh, moreover a PR friendly country. And yes, of course, uh, the uh, worldwide, it is uh, very good facilities uh, in Canada. Uh, it is very good uh, quality education, medical facilities, uh, more settled politically, they are stable. So these are the factors uh, giving any immigrant a right a path and little bit security towards their future. And that's why we come up we come up in the picture uh, being a university to help help you guide you for the taking right uh, university and right program towards your uh, studentship towards your growth towards your career and later on definitely there's no uh, uh, limit to look for the pr opportunities you can explore it because it's canada and where are university located it is comes under the pnp so Provisional Nominee Program Act, under this, uh, uh, it comes the New Brunswick, uh, Nova Scotia, and uh, Prince Edward, many more um, uh, provinces. New Brunswick is one of it, and we have two campuses there where the PR takes only six months. And for the more details, please connect to the uh, immigration team. And, of course, uh, you can visit the CIC website, and they will educate you, guide you the right way. So our two campuses located in New Brunswick, Moncton and Sussex. These are the two cities. Moncton is the largest city in the uh, province and Sussex also, uh, you know, a good city with not of very uh, facilities, but overall the working culture, the studying uh, and the different community peoples are living there. So it is not very big uh, town. But uh, Sussex is also a very good option for the students and it only takes 40 to 40 minutes drive from one campus to another. We have different uh, uh, community groups. So we believe lots of community building exercises and different uh, you know, groups what we have it in New Brunswick. And reason being, it is a land of immigrants. So different country people living together and they connect with their own community. And then one person can connect to the different communities. And it's a, it's a good uh, you know, web for connecting to people to get the job, to get the sustainability options and get connected to the, uh, you know, opportunities in definitely new country. We are the first bilingual province uh, in Canada. Reason being, as I told you, that uh, uh, it's uh, full of diverse uh, population there. And of course, we have different country students and one language is common, that is English. And uh, uh, most of the reason is, that uh, they have a uh, uh, very good, uh, you know, uh, communication uh, team exercises. So every communities, they build up like in a way that they connect with each other. And uh, uh, French influence is very less. Only at the native uh, residential side, you will be seeing or you will be hearing sometimes uh, a, a French language. So there's no any language barrier that you have to have a specially specialization to be done in the different foreign language that is under language French, because English is also a, a adopted language for uh, Asians and other African, European, uh, some countries. So all cool if you know English and just IELTS based on that or PT or Duolingo, we accept the, any kind of the application coming from any age or any background. So similarly, we have good language, uh, no language barrier. We have good community buildup. There's multiple, you know, different culture and diverse uh, people you're going to see there. And also we have a good weather moderations. Spring, summer, fall and winter. We have four seasons and winter is like minus two to minus four. It's like a New York weather. And student can easily adjust with who are coming first time or dreaming first time to come to Canada and living there. It's it's a pleasing for them because it's no period is also a shorter starts by December end and ends by April. So three to four months adjusting with minus two to minus four. And it is uh, love to be in snow in Canada. 
small class size concept reason being as i told you uh, we are accepting the student coming from any age so if i'm saying any age 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus this is what we have a uh, uh, real data and uh, real time examples we have it and then student did uh, you know, do really well in their academic and also in their uh, work permits and PRs later on. And uh, they come up with their, uh, you know, uh, native families also after a period of time. So any age, any uh, background uh, students are acceptable. So whosoever is listening to me, if you have a career gap, study gap, open universities, distance learning, uh, or any number of backlogs, and if you're thinking and dreaming of Canada, you have no way to go, but just come to uh, the Immigration Guru uh, team and you can also uh, visit us on our website and you can definitely uh, try for your luck for our master's and bachelor's program. All, all programs are affiliated and definitely uh, it's compatible with the PNP guidelines. So student will have no problem later on filing, uh, you know, work permit or uh, PR possibilities if they wanted to explore it. Out of the good academia, we have a very good athlete programs for the female and male category students for soccer, volleyball, basketball, cross country, boxing and cricket. As we were found in 1949, so since we are maintaining this uh, epitome of the education and quality education, and this is what it's going on and on. This is the walkthrough, guys. It's a little tour for the campus. How the campus looks like. What are the facilities with? How we celebrate all the cultures. So I hope you enjoy the walkthrough video and uh, it was a mute video overall showing you the experiences that how we have a different culture and uh, activities for the personality development, uh, group studies, uh, on campus, off campus, uh, help and assistance, accommodation options, everything we have available. So as you can see on the screen that we accept any bachelors, any number of backlogs, as I just said, any work experience or fresher profile, just pass out 23 students can also apply it. Career gap, study gap, distance learning, open schooling, three years bachelor, four year bachelor, all are accepted. So basically the acceptance range at Crandall is really wide and uh, any kind of a category student coming from anywhere, they can try and definitely submit the profile for the free assessment in 24 hour to get the conditional letter by the admissions team. How the PNP works, definitely the visit P, uh, CIC website and our all programs are compatible with the work permit options. So plus two student can go for BA, BSc, Theology, BBA program, four years and three years work permit. And next category is master. Masters of organizational management is a one year program student who have work experience already in any industrial field, they can come and join our advanced program, Masters of Organizational Management. And Masters of Management, if the mature or freshers, either or, looking for particularly two-year program with the paid internship option, then definitely the forum is open for them for applying Masters of Management. Basic is 
first class we require it i'm talking about the indian students for bangladeshi we require 80 percentage for nepali students for pakistani students for malaysian singapore everyone has a, a different uh, country criteria and that you will get to know from the immigration guru team so BA, we have majors in English, History, Psychology, Sociology, Biblical Study, Kinsology, Communication, Arts and Theatre. These are the majors one. In Arts, BBA, we have majors in Accounting, Economics, Finance, Marketing and Management. And BSc, we have Bio, a specialization with the lab facility on campus. We also have B.Ed. for elementary and secondary level students. If they are looking for particularly uh, elementary degree or secondary level degree, they can definitely get back to the uh, immigration guru team and they will guide you. We have theology programs also. If uh, you guys are listening to me and you are coming from the Christian family background, you are looking for uh, becoming a pastor, definitely this program will help you. We have BTEC also for onshore and offshore students, but here it will apply it interview process. This is our master's program, Masters of Organizational Management. As I just told you, we require SOP resume and two LORs because the previous work experience is mandatory. As you can see, we condense two year program into one year and the credit hours are 30 credit hours. So after completing this 30 credit hours, three semesters in one year, student will eligible for three years work permit. And the next category is masters of management. Freshers or experienced, anybody can apply because based on your latest education transcripts, we cannot accept you. No SOP, LOR or resume is mandatory here. Four semester, studies that is 36 credit hour and the last semester will be a paid internship which will be arranged and provided by the university so student no need to worry about the searching for the internship and all uh, it will be taken care by university because it's a part of your program content the program got so much successfully done that's why we have uh, Providence University on board and uh, they are also doing successfully done in terms of getting the admissions and also the visa approval rate. Crandall charges for female and male category groups as you have seen already in the uh, walkthrough video. And this is our annual tuition fees for one year masters, 26,000 care approximately. And the Masters of Management one year cost is 17,900 CAD approximately, including the textbooks and medical. Medical is covering your eye, dental and emergency expenses, which is all included in your tuition fees. So once you submit your tuition fees, there will be no any surprise cost after reaching your campus. 100% refund fee policy in case of visa rejection and deferral, we have three intakes for all three locations. Jan, May and September. If the visa get delayed, simply you need to just uh, come back to your uh, agent counselor and uh, we're going to change the deferment request. For on arriving students, we have airport pickups, orientation session, peer coaches for tutoring services absolutely free on campus. Writing and success centers, sports club, art and culture group. International Student Service Department, community groups, library, cafeteria, gym, on-campus and off-campus accommodation assistance. Apart from the IELTS, we also do accept TOEFL, Cambridge, PTE Academics and Duolingo, 115, not less than 95 in each band, Duolingo. So these are the English proficiency test scorecards, what we are expecting it. You can submit with or without IELTS or any English proficiency for the free assessment in 24 hour. And you can submit your English proficiency test scores afterwards as well. So academically, if you're qualifying, we can provide you the offer letter in 24 hour. If your IELTS is also pending, you can apply it right away. 
and connect to the immigration guru team. If you are listening me from uh, African continent or Europe or Asia like Singapore, these are the countries where we don't require the IELTS. IELTS is exempted based on your transcript, we're gonna accept you right away. Especially uh, the major uh, request we are, we are getting it from Cameroon, Gamia, Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Mauritius, Malta, Rwanda, Singapore students also we have it three to four in our campus. Uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Uganda, these are the countries where we don't require IELTS. We have uh, the scholarship available till 1st of March for all the Christian background students who have a Christian uh, family background and they can avail the 40,000 CAT scholarship for BBA, BA, BSc and theology programs. So if you want to help someone and uh, somebody is really uh, wanted to get this scholarship, then definitely they can connect to the team later. For BBA, BA and BSc, we require two pastoral uh, references from their church services. So I request here, do not submit the uh, application fees upfront. Once you're submitting your documents to the team uh, here, uh, then once you get the conditional letter, after that you have to pay 100 CAD in order to receive the final letter of acceptance by the university in seven days. And paying through paymytuition.com. So first assessment is absolutely free. Once you submit your documents, you don't need to pay anything once you get the conditional letter. And if you are already submitted your IELTS or any PT scores, then you have to go ahead for the applications. Please. We have on-campus job opportunities because we have on-campus shops and internship options. And off-campus, we have these many team and industry partner who are continuously associating with our team for getting the uh, recruitment and getting the uh, employees for the internship and full-time uh, payroll employees. We uh, conduct the job fairs three to four times in a year with the support of provincial government team. And they're the one who, uh, you know, uh, always uh, get associated with all of the company uh, board members and they organize this uh, job fair in always Moncton City, where our team located. We have 60 plus country students and this is our latest orientation session picture. And this is my uh, vote of thanks, our social media presence and my Providence email address again here. We are open right now for Jan 25 intake for Masters of Management with a paid internship in last semester and three years work permit in Masters of Management. So this is my uh, end of the presentation, uh, guys. The forum is open for you for any question or session if you have it. Thank you so much, Prakati, for the session. Uh, okay. If anyone has any question, please uh, put it there uh, in the chat. I'll ask uh, those questions from Kati. So uh, a few questions I have. Uh, first is uh, for Masters of Organizational Management, uh, are we open for September intake or are we open for January intake now? January 25. September we close. September is only open for undergrads till 31st of March. Okay. Is, is there any possibility because uh, master's is high in demand right now? Is there any possibility of reopening of uh, master's? Uh, we already again? reopened with our extended deadline and uh, we had to close it because the flow of the application. So, so far we have a zero cancellation and we done with the September because we don't have seats available for all of the three campuses, all of the three locations. Is Crandall... Uh, uh, Increasing number of seats in future because uh, I That's guess number how of seats, we uh... did because we are we already associated with because initially we were only at Moncton now we are at Sussex and now we have a joint venture with Providence in Manitoba and Manitoba is also known for the uh, PR province 
and Winnipeg. We are literally in the Winnipeg center of the Winnipeg. It's a downtown and it is very uh, happening uh, place where the student will get more options for the, you know, job explorations and uh, getting into the uh, business where they can understand and explore the Canadian market. So that's how we, we chose and that's how we expanded. And yes, in future also many more are in pipeline, but right now if we have three locations and now we are open it for Jan 25 for all locations as of now. And how many seats are there in masters uh, in all these uh, locations? Uh, total number of seats? We have we have uh, more than 500 seats, um, but uh, we have the students uh, on campus and uh, onshore and offshore, and we have local students as well. Uh, so for uh, international students, we have uh, 500 approx seats where uh, we cater 60 plus country students. So majorly uh, is the India part, if you are especially talking about the Asia continent, majorly we are getting the application from India. And uh, yes, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Nepal, these are the countries, uh, Sri Lanka, we have the very good students, Philippines, Myanmar, so these are the countries where definitely shown up uh, over the last two years, a good number of applications apart from India. And we have a very good uh, footfall from uh, the Africa and Europe and uh, Latin America. Is there any seat uh, uh, kind of uh, logged for, are there number of seats logged for India only? Or it is open for. It's not, but uh, yeah, if you if uh, you have the student, and definitely I can uh, prioritize those. So uh, based on the deadline, we have because... students uh, actually uh, five six students. They are asking for September intake. If you can uh, give a few seats. <laughs> no, I'm talking about January. September we closed, so we already uh, you know uh, accepted them for September. And as you know, uh, Jitain, we have a very good visa success rate, even in the pandemic time as well. So uh, since we are maintaining it and uh, we are we want to maintain, we want to continue this uh, uh, flagship. So that's how universities is growing and uh, uh, growing every day. And uh, is Providence University also going to have Master of Organizational Management one year program? No, right well? now they are only open it for Masters of Management because it is uh, versatile and open for both category, even the fresher or uh, the experienced one who are mature. And uh, this is how it is because it really did well and it generated the skilled workforce in Canadian job market. And that's how they're looking for more and more application. And that's why we we put uh, MM2 uh, Providence and MM2 Sussex. But Crandall is all over for uh, undergrad and both the masters. Okay, so Master of Organizational Management is going to be in one campus only? M Mountain, yes. Okay. And what is uh, the length for Master of Management in months, number of months? So it's a uh, 20 months program. With internship? Yes. They, they, there will be two uh, semester breaks, summer and winter. So it's, uh, it's a two-year program. But uh, overall, it's a 20 month. And student will get uh, three years work permit. Last semester will be a paid internship optional if they wanted to do for the internship. Uh, our uh, team will connect them for it. We have a specially dedicated team for that. And but somebody wants, no, I want to continue with my fourth semester master uh, in masters of management uh, as a, a semester, then they can continue as a semester also. But if they wanted to do internship and most of the students chose the internship only. Because sometimes there's a small internship also uh, turn into the long term or a full time job option. Uh, application fee uh, what's the application fee for master of management and master of organizational management everything everything for each uh, program undergrad grad we have a hundred cat after uh, getting the conditional letter not upfront because okay. assessment is absolutely free here 
and IELTS requirement for master of management and master of organization. For everything is same, 6.5 overall, not less than 6.0 in each band. PT academics overall 56, TOEFL overall 90, Duolingo 115, not less than 95 in each band. Okay, so Duolingo is also accepted. Yeah. Okay. Earlier, uh, there was a requirement of do, uh, submitting VES as well. If VES is not there, then there was a fee for... No, there's uh, no mandatory. There's no mandatory. Okay, without It was never be a mandatory, actually. Uh, that was the application fee differ when you have VES yeah. and when you don't have VES. Now it is uh, uh, one application fees that is 100 CAD and VES is not mandatory. VES is not required. Okay, yeah. Great. Uh, is there any issue of gap as well? Uh, no, any no. Kind? we accept we accept number of gaps. There's no problem. That's why we are accepting the mature category students because our programs are so intense and advanced created. Because we we require it for the gap uh, profile, we require it for the mature profile because they are getting the right away ready workforce. Okay, so on YouTube, there is a question. Uh, I need to know when shall I start the process of January 25 intake? Right so, now. Right now. Till when it is going to be open? I think end of April. And moreover, okay. I'll let you know, but, but uh, assume it is end of April. Okay, and... Uh... When your master degree program... You guys have to be hurry up uh, for sure, because... Uh, it is so successfully uh, program going on since more than a decade, I guess. And you have the, I'm talking about the all listeners and viewers, you have the right channel, you have the right agent partner, where uh, you can get the right guidance for the visa point also. And for me, I'm always there, even after completing uh, this session, if you have a, again, separate session with me, uh, Jitain, please connect with me with your, uh, uh, you know, prospect students, if they are wanted to meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. Sure, sure, sure. Definitely. Uh, next question is, uh, one-year master degree program in Crandall University, uh, last day to apply for September. So September intake is already gone. Yeah. Uh, now Jan intake is open. One-year master degree program is Master of Organizational Management. It is 12-month program, three-year of work permit. So you can proceed for that. What's the total fee of the, the program? So it's already shared if, if you want to share it again. Again, I can share you. Uh, the one-year program will cost you 26,000 CAD approximately, including the textbooks and medical insurance. And the Masters of Management annual fees is 17,900 CAD, again, including the textbooks and medical insurance, covering your eye, dental, and emergencies. So this is how it is. And all the master's program, MM and MORGAM, we have a class once in a week. That's it. In all the master's degree programs? All the master's degree. Classes will be once in a week. So you have enough time to explore and uh, do adventures in your career and exploring the opportunities in Canada. And of course, there are the, the, there are the tests, there are the, the assignments you have to uh, complete it. And that accordingly, you're going to complete your total credit hours. But it's, it's going so easy and smooth that you can also complete your studies and you can also explore the Canada job market. And you can also go for the part-time work and you can manage your expenses. So we created in a way that each immigrant will get the maximum benefit. I haven't heard of uh, one-day classes in Canada. So usually... At means at least two days of classes are there, but we have one day. One day of classes are so uh, one day is like classes. from morning to uh, evening. evening? Uh, we the have a session. Yeah, all day. Great, great, great. This is this is something new for me. <laughs> great. Uh, Providence University also has any master degree programs uh, program. So uh, do you have the details of Providence University Master of Management as well? We have only Masters of Management. I am only allowed to promote Masters of Management for using the Providence University because we have internal uh, tie-up uh, with only MM. And what's the fee for that program? 17,900 CAD. Same, same fees, same, same criteria, uh, same uh, protocols, everything. Same is, is, course content, everything. Is it uh, uh, kind of executed by Crandall University and Providence University? 
no the uh, student will get the degree in the name of providence, providence. yes yes okay okay but but it is the tie up or curriculum or is it they accepted it and they are hosting uh, the mm program so we oh. already uh, created a platform for them and they are doing it and that's why they have a publicized on their uh, you know social website and other social medias that they have mm program uh, in providence university because the province approached for that so they requested with providence and they come on board great if a student already has a valid study permit can uh, can they be taken directly into any of your program master of management or master of organization yeah. management or do they have any requirements okay no, no, just no, admission right is required yes just admission is required in that uh, scenario vinay uh, after getting admission and if you have traveled to canada you can just simply start taking your classes there is no problem in that and if it is your second program in that case uh, 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 we need to update dli to ircc if it is your first program then also we can change the dli to ircc it is easy uh, quick process just take 10 minute of time so we can do that uh, so if you haven't traveled to canada still we can secure the seat for you and after reaching canada you can officially change your college or university but if you have traveled to canada in that case uh, you are good to go you are, you are good to join anywhere you want it's not a problem uh, are there any onshore uh, seats available uh, for september intake or none onshore uh, we are still going on and we already almost filled so but i can try you if you have a valid uh, study permit right away share it to me on email and i'll get back to you okay so i guess there are students who have already got visa and they are trying for this so yeah i will share with you please uh, look for uh, yeah one but seat. it's no promise i can only try with my international team if there's a seat available definitely we are there to provide you uh, find out a few seats we are <laughs> no, just... it all depends on the uh, cancellation if it happens then definitely because right now Increase. we just closed our september and we issued all the loas so we are waiting for the uh, you know any cancellation or visa refusal so based on that if there is priority then definitely we can put forward but officially the window is closed we cannot log in anything for the september now increase number of seats <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. One day. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, Dinesh is asking. We have all the documents ready. Uh, if possible, facilitate two seats for September twenty for intake. <laughs> so we are already discussing about it. So uh, please share your documents. I will send it to Krati with the uh, with the request, emotional request. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. If she can give. By give. The way. <laughs> I I have already applied for Kendal University, but uh, got refusal for MBA <laughs> degree because of my graduation percentage. But I want to know: is there any other option? I can go to the same university, master degree. Uh, okay, so sixty percent uh, is the earlier it was fifty percent, I guess. Correct. Uh, you are talking about five years early, so <laughs> now <laughs> okay. we are in twenty twenty four. So sixty is basic. You know what happened because uh, our uh, uh, you know industrial partnership went so good, and we have a almost hundred percent placement, and that's the industrial requirement that we need at least first class students to easily adapt the uh, strategies and you know uh, work facilities and the work culture. So that's our preset criteria. First class is our basic. So, so uh, it will help them to right away getting the jobs and the part time and full time and everything. So it will help you later on. So don't just look for this percentage and that. Sixty is the baseline. But sometimes uh, students are like uh, they have experience, and uh, when they were studying that time they were not that serious and that problem happened. But later on they were so serious they uh, have grown in their uh, uh, respective fields and they have good experience now. So now their learning ability should be justified with their experience rather than uh, from their study. And unfortunately, right now it is uh, not in my criteria list. 
so it is not but i can give you one thing here if you are not uh, it if you were not good at uh, your undergrad and if you are good at it your masters i can accept you based on your masters 60% and above that i can do this can be a relaxation yeah so whatever is your uh, more percentage degree bachelor's or master i can based on that accept you if you you were not uh, serious at your masters but you were good at your bachelor's at least you have to show somewhere so either ways i can accept you uh vinay saying i was denied for loi i am still in canada and i have study permit can yeah, i get maybe. loi for master of finance uh, please share the details uh, with me yeah. on whatsapp maybe vinay. he got denied because of the seats uh, uh, not availability because uh, in that time we were closing our intake so uh, university denied so if it has happened it happened we cannot change it vinay sorry Okay. you can so, try it for january and uh, because you already in uh, oh you were denied because of the percentage so then it's the issue right that's what i told you it's a preset criteria decided by the registrar and the university team we cannot fight for that uh dinesh wants to ask you something um dinesh you can unmute yourself and ask Dinesh, uh, uh, hi. Good morning, Krati. Hi. Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry. I actually I missed uh, the first conversation. Uh, so actually, I know we are chasing a TAG team from May, June onwards. Uh, once we cleared with the uh, IELTS test, so now. as per ircc amendments so one year master uh, can get a ps uh, work permit so this is uh, good for us and but uh, by unfortunately uh, you know we heard that uh, for september 2024 intake is closed with uh, pradel university so you know we are literally chasing with the uh, sir uh, request them cradel management for uh, two seats So, so you know if possible you know if you provide or if you facilitate two seats one is for my wife the other one is for my brother so we are almost done everything done so just uh, if you arrange us you know we are ready to make the payment and everything is ready with us you can email it to international@crandall.u.ca uh, and you can try for your luck this is what i can say if they if they accept you i have no problem yeah just email your study permit and everything whoever is listening to me those who are having the study permit is very good option to just email it to international@crandall.u.ca and uh, you will get the response in 24 hour or 48 hours uh we we, we can uh, look for it so yeah Uh, if there is onshore admission still i guess the chances are little bit uh, chances are there uh, all depends some... if if we get any cancellation because right now we just closed our intake so it will uh, take time us to you know refrain it and uh, if we are getting it definitely we can prioritize those who are having the study permit but if we don't get the cancellation normally it didn't happen cancellation takes really less in in our uh, uh, university then uh, all the uh, you know uh, applications who are awaiting they shifted to the next intake so next is january what we are accepting the fresh application right away okay uh, so the best way even you also uh, jitain you just submit the uh, visa application visa permits uh, to the uh, uh, internationalcrandall.u.ca and then you can follow with them because they are the one who's uh, authority for that they are from the registrar office so if they are accepting it is well enough no problem great great we'll do that uh machine is asking 100% placement in respective fields so uh, students are coming from different field uh, are they going yeah. to get placement in their respective fields okay 
yeah people are coming from different field different background and we have a different uh, uh, you know portfolio companies there majorly it's it's called a industrial province new brunswick so we have the uh, supply and chain we have the it we have banking sector we have uh, logistic we have sales and marketing hr hotel industry we have uh, recently opened up uh amazon uh, big store walmart circle k costco so the somebody's people also working for the operations uh you know packaging so it's a lot and we have a it also There's those who already had uh, their background of it or software engineering or hardwares uh, they are still working in uh, banks so they are supporting system for the banking sector for it so your previous work experience always counts. So if you're coming from any field and if there's an option, yeah, definitely. Like civil engineers, we don't have such. Engineers, we do have because their work is completely different. They're, they don't use the cement and concrete. So it's completely entirely different civil work. So that is having a lesser scope. This is what I observed since ages. Okay. But overall, uh, you're getting the good good portfolio, managerial level, skilled category job options. Yeah, and also the PR options are also there uh, yeah. because you are landing in Atlantic provinces. Uh, today, tomorrow, and probably in coming two years, three years as well. Uh, even if uh, uh, PR possibilities in other provinces are going to go down, still these provinces are going to have better opportunities compared to other provinces yeah. for sure. So, yeah. so if you're this coming is in actually and... happening, no? Toronto is completely shut off for the PR because they don't have the uh, limit. They already done with their quotas. It's exceeding now and it takes eight years or maybe uh, 10 years or maybe there's no chance to get the PR. But here you have the chance and you have a good working uh, uh, capacity. You have less um, uh, daily, uh, you know, expenses. So the cost of living is comparatively very low here. And the wages is comparatively high here because you have a low uh, lifestyle here. So that way the student definitely manages. Okay. I saw oh. students who, uh, who done their, uh, you know, uh, one year completed and next year they have uh you know paid their entire next year fees by their own so i hope i have those examples okay next question is uh i got uh, ppr for may 2024 in private college i did become from mumbai university second class degree digital marketing 11 years experience ielts overall six no less than 5.5 international uh INT international in mass MM program interested maybe interested, interested in master in. Master. no second class we won't accept 5.5 we won't accept 58 percent 59 percent also we won't accept we need 60 and above and 5.5 uh, one module we don't accept you have in two modules so there's no acceptance Rajesh, just ping me on WhatsApp. let me let yeah, me check you can you can look can for more them. options in canada i'm sure you will help uh, him do you think yeah, so a few options are there where we you can still get masters. So second class will be accepted. So that is not a yeah. concern. For uh, IELTS, uh, you can compensate it with uh, Duolingo for admission. So yes, possibility is there to get admission with your profile uh, for a master degree as well. Definitely, we can proceed for it. Share your profile with me on WhatsApp and uh, then we can proceed. My number is 9812380882. You can ping me on my WhatsApp number. Okay, so here it is answered. More questions are on I YouTube. think it's a, it's a good uh, interaction with the uh, all the prospects here. They are really uh, heard me well. And they're asking me so many questions. I'm enjoying. Great. Okay, onshore admissions available for September intake. Students having study permit want to... Okay, so we can uh, submit the profile to Krati and uh, Crandall University. And uh, if there are seats available, definitely they will uh, share it uh, back to us. So it is possible to get onshore admission for September, but not guaranteed. If there are seats available, then definitely we can get a chance. So right now... It's not 100% uh, sure. sure. Uh, but those who are listening, just submit your study permit to international at crandallu.ca 
you will get the reward from the campus right away. You don't need me or you don't need anybody in between. It is the very simple uh, process. International at crandallu.ca, submit your study permit to get back to you by the admissions team or enrollment team. Uh, job opportunities and housing for international students. So job opportunities are already discussed. Uh, housing uh, for international students. So anything for that, uh, Krati? We have on campus and off campus, both uh, accommodation options, uh, PG options and room sharing apartments. So uh, at the uh, pre-orientation session, before departing to your home country, we have a a session with the team and that time you can explore these answers by our international team at the orientation session. So we have the availability, there's no problem on campus also, off campus also for the master's program students, I recommend you go for the off campus because you have a classes only once in a week. So it is very uh, cheap and budgeted. Uh, you're gonna find out options outside the campus. On-campus accommodation is a bit uh, higher side of the cost because the undergrad programs, uh, they have the classes five days in a week. So it's for them to more uh, valid to stay in campus. For you guys, if you're looking for off-campus accommodation, being in master's um, applicant, it is more soothing for you. Uh, okay. Uh, Engineer Shakur is asking... I need to know McEwen University has any master degree or not. No, there is no master degree in McEwen University. They have PG diploma options and uh, PG diploma and uh, bachelor degree options, but master is not there. Actually, in entire Alberta, there are very limited master's options. Most of the options are PG diploma options, and we are uh, hardly seeing any master degree uh, there. In future, maybe, because uh, new rule is triggering the universities to have more and more masters and they, are, they may be converting their PG diploma into masters. And in entire Canada, number of master degree options are quite less compared to PG diploma options. So Crandall is one of them. So uh, they were already overloaded with the applications earlier as well. Now they must be having more applications. So they were prominent option uh, earlier as well. Now they are even a uh, bigger option because of the demand. So hopefully they are going to have more seats in future. Uh, so at least uh, this province should have more seats. Uh, but Alberta, definitely, as you are looking for it, uh, right now there are no seats available there in Masters. Okay, any other questions? I think it was a really great session, guys. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay, thank you so much, Krati. Any Any final remarks, anything? that we haven't covered or you want to say or share? I think uh, um, I had a wonderful session with all of you and always been with you. It's a great learning from me also, from the different students' perspective. And uh, yes, um, we are all open uh, to accept you for Jan and May and September 2025 intake. And this is my final words. Okay. Thank you so much, Krati, and everyone for joining the session, whoever joined on YouTube as well. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining there as well. If you have, still have any question, if you want to apply, if you want to share your profile, my number is 9812380882. We'll be happy to share uh, the options with you. And if you want to apply for Crandall, for general intake, for onshore, for September intake, then definitely we can apply right now as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining again. And uh, see you in next video, next live. Thank you so much. Thank you, Krati. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, guys. Have a good Thank day. Bye-bye.